I'm kind of sharpened eyes through YouTube and just online resources, and then out of nowhere, I got the idea. If I can sharpen these knives, I can make them. And it was a weird point in my life where I just decided I want to do this for the rest of my life. There are a few things that I make sure that don't ever get overlooked. Like the edge actually has to be as thin as I can get it for the purpose that it's going to be used for. The edge has to be as straight as possible. I really like visual balance in a blade, a knife. Everything has to be kind of played off each other and has to have a certain theme. Those are things that I don't compromise on. They have to be absolutely spot on. Every little detail that I do, um, all the little uh, steps, a lot of those I just kind of experimented and through trial and error developed those myself. I focus on two different steels mostly. I do 52100 and W2. Both of them are high carbon steels. They're not stainless, so you have to take care of them. But there's nothing that sharpens up like a simple carbon steel. There's, it, there's a feedback to it, there's a feeling to it. It sharpens up extremely easy. It gets a really sharp edge and it holds it for a decent amount of time. And it just it just feels right. Nobody needs a nice knife, but for those who really enjoy cooking, it could be you know a worthwhile investment to build a relationship with a tool like that. So I always make it you know the comparison to a musical instrument. Like nobody needs a really nice instrument. I can get along with my whole entire life playing you know a, a normal guitar, but when I when I do pick up a really nice guitar and play it, there's a feeling, there's a feedback with it from me to the instrument back to me. There's something going on with the brain. If you have a nice knife that's balanced right, all the little touches are done up really nice, it looks good and it cuts nice, it's the same exact feeling.